Jeff Gillis. I don't know if there's any story behind this, so you tell me if there is. Any Jake the Snake stories? Why the fallout with Jake? I didn't know you, you'd had a fallout. Yeah, we were. We told that story last night too. God. Uh, <laughs> uh, me and Phineas were, uh, you know, we were always on time, did what we were told. Jake was having a rough time, and they wanted to make him an agent. And he was also working, so he was doing double duty. But uh, everybody knows he had the bad drug problem back then, and so they put him with us to uh, get him to the towns and make sure he gets there, and you know, keep an eye on him. So he rode with us for about a week, and first couple of days were okay, and then uh, it was like banging on the door for an hour and calling um you know him freaking out in his room and now we're st all starting to be late for tv <clears throat> so uh we were in dallas and i had a i'd got the room for me and phineas because he got the rental car and uh so jake said well i'll take you all to the airport and then i'll turn your car in so uh jake took us to the airport dropped us off he went back to the hotel i still remember the holiday in there by the airport and uh he stayed in my room for a week under my card and he kept phineas's car out for like six days it was down in the hood and doing all this crazy stuff so uh, when I found out, um, I called the office and I said, you know, this is bullshit and either you guys can reimburse us or he can, or we're going to take it out of his ass when we get TV and they paid us and they let Jake go after that. So that was the incident then. So this is early 97. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I think so. Maybe in the ninety seven or first of ninety eight. I can't remember, yeah, but he, it's in that right there somewhere. Yeah, I think it would have been the beginning of ninety seven. Something I think so anyway. I think yeah. it was like going like February. Uh did, did he ever apologize? No. I mean we we talk now and uh and I'm glad he's doing better, but you know, it was that was uh pretty shitty back then. Mm. So what was he actually, I know he was doing like some wrestling and stuff, but wasn't he like either agenting or like doing some creative work at that time as well? He was trying to like work his way into an office job. Yeah, because, you know, he was wearing the dress clothes and being an agent, but yet he was still working some too. So, uh, but they were trying to push him in there because, you know, when Jake's Jake, he's got a good mind for the business. He knows what's going on. But uh, he was just unpredictable back then. And 